We have a beautiful morning. We call it magic hour. And we have some new pets that we're boarding for a week or so. But I, I'm pretty sure Michelle's not gonna wanna give them back. I'm seriously considering getting some. <laughs> Look. Yeah. It's a Mr. Bunny. I'm just letting them run in this part of the run that we have for the chickens, but the chickens don't really use. And it's separate from the other part of the run, so it's perfect actually. All they need is some paintball guns and they're good to go. <laughs> yeah. Look at this guy. <laughs> I've never spent any time with bunnies. And they're very, I can tell you right now, they're very smart and they are, they know who's feeding them. Do you think you could get any closer? I'm making it so there's no wire. Okay. No fence wire. I just woke up, so I mean, it's going to be a face for radio, really. Just look at this face instead. Your hairstyle right now is oh. pretty banging. Yeah, well, I've been bunnies, bunny running for like an hour. Yeah. They're pretty cute. Oh my gosh, they're <laughs> so cute. He and they they're like they the if I walk away from him, uh, he'll come running to find me right away. Yeah, hey, I'm uh, not that wild. Yeah. His uh, nose has a twitch. It doesn't stop. I know. <laughs> yeah. You want to see him run? <laughs> I thought I lost a nut. Going nuts. <laughs> so kind of sad. We got to give this machine back. Very sad. And we are so close to being done the round earth, but everything takes longer. Everything takes longer than I think it will. So we're just cleaning it up. Uh, my buddy Joe there, who helps us out with a lot of stuff. He's got a nice hot water pressure washer, so when we get it into town, I can clean the outside. But I just want to get the inside wiped down and cleaned up. And it's certainly been rammed earthed. Yeah. Yeah. It smells clean in there. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Overall, it's not too bad. Sure, is a nice machine. It's been a good friend, this machine. Yeah, it's done a lot of work for us. We've got a lot done. I think we've had it out here since May. I know. Maybe, end of May. I could find out May or June. So when it's first week of November. Yeah. But yeah, it moved a lot around Earth for us. It so did. That does put us in a bit of a predicament. We've got really good weather yeah. coming and we have to find a different machine to mix around earth so this machine is spoken for it has to go to a different place for snow removal castle as, Garth, doesn't it? Yeah, as you see there's snow <laughs> so yeah we'll see we'll make it work one way or another we're so close mm -hmm. we've got those two columns done these two are in progress for the form work and then we only have two more Full height wall sections and the rest is all lower and all infills so that is a lot of lot quicker to put together less form work and less fill mm -hmm. so fingers crossed that we can do this before the temperatures s stay below freezing because once that happens i don't think it's worth trying to keep going mm -hmm. but if we have all the rammed earth done then we can uh, carry on to the next bit which is what I'm being optimistic about. I know. I can't wait till we get a roof on. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> we can work inside at least covered. 
I do have a couple ideas uh, for a machine. So okay, we might be able to trade bunny babysitting for the use of a bobcat. <laughs> okay, well, we'll certainly keep everybody posted on the bobcat situation. In the meantime, goodbye, old friend. Talking to the bobcat. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I sure hope all this stuff comes off. Yeah, me too. This thing, like, we, I looked at, we watched a video from, well, we put together a video from when we first started the round earth, and this thing was spanking, spanking new. Real Literally, clean. it was brand new. Poke that in here, you can see it took off, like, foot pedals and. Mm. Wow. The mat, because it was all full of... Oh, it was just so dirty. Well, there's just so much sediment and stuff in there. Mm -hmm. Joe will be happy. We know Joe likes clean. He likes nice He's things. gonna roll up in his truck and it's gonna be like, Hallelujah. <laughs> just... We're gonna, we're gonna go for a walk. We're gonna take you along and when Joe gets here, we'll say our final goodbyes. Hold on to the hand of self-destruction And I'm back to a place that I left a long time ago It's nearly insane I'll smoke this cigarette My aching body feels better stored What do you do? up my guitar and too much on your plate when the need to escape everything will be better when I find
So, as you may have just saw, we lost. Oops. <laughs> we lost the skid steer. We didn't lose it. We didn't lose it. Our we good, had to give it back. We found another option. One of our neighbors has got one, which is a little older machine, and it's going to be a little bit of a test today just to see how it holds up. We're doing the rammed earth. We're literally walking over there right now mm -hmm. to get it. Yeah. And the dogs, dogs get a little walk. It's beautiful. Yeah, it's gorgeous today. November 8th. November 8th. Yeah. Sorry the camera keeps turning. I need to watch where I walk. Because <laughs> this is what we're walking on. Ain't no sidewalks out here. Everything's... Yeah, no sidewalks out here. Yeah, so James is going to pick it up and then he's going to drive it home. I'm going to carry on on a dog walk with the dogs. And we'll let you know how the new skid steer works. We got to go off-roading. Do we even know where we're going? <laughs> well, I've never gone there this way, but yeah. we're just going to go off-roading until we find it. Okay. I think it's back in here somewhere. We're close. Look at the light. Hey Bob. Hi. We're way over here. Come on, guys. Oh, no. Oh, I thought it was locked first. <laughs> I had to go and get a key. Alright. Here it is. It's a uh, foot pedals, I think. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, she's cold. <laughs> He did say it doesn't like the cold. Not a lot of things do. We have to take advantage of these bluebird days right now because in uh, not even a month we're going to start getting socked in as we like to say, which means that you're basically just socked in. <laughs> Don't see the sun for a significant amount of time and it's just snowy. It's still beautiful. I'm not complaining, but it's definitely not this. I don't know if you can see those 
snow-capped mountains back there, but it's just spectacular. I just wanted to say a big thank you to Andrea and Brett for letting us use their skid steer. They are, well, you're lifesavers. Thank you so much. I'm going to send you this video, so hopefully you're watching this. Um, they're the people that were taking care of their bunnies right now, too. So, all part of the community. And we are just so grateful because I know James was really sad to see that other skid steer go. And so having one that we can grab so close and use is really going to help us get what we need to get done before the winter on this greenhouse. And once the greenhouse is built, we're all going to be reaping the rewards from that. So thanks again, you guys.